Hey folks, Mr. Hartzer here, and I am hoping to show you how to make this part right here. I'm going to start off by doing the cylinder on the bottom, then I'm going to do the rectangle in the middle, then I'm going to do the cylinder on the top, and after that I'm going to put those holes in them. And you'll notice right here it says diameter of 0 0.25 through, and it's typical. That means all of them that look like that are actually like that. Uh, that's the typical part. They mean they're all the typical, they're all the same. And again, diameter is a quarter inch, and they go all the way through. That's what that T-H-R-U means. It goes all the way through the object. I'm going to treat everything like they're in inches, like that on the bottom. And my overall piece is 2.5, and then each of these chunks are really just a half inch. I'm going to get that off the way, out of the way, and I'm going to talk about it as we go. So I'm going to start a sketch. It's in my top. And I'm going to choose this bottom plane, this XZ plane. I'm going to put a circle there because like I said, I'm starting off with those little cylinder parts. And this has a diameter. It says that on my top of my drawing. It says that is 1.25. Then I need to extrude that. So I'm going to hit the E on my keyboard or you can hit 3D model and then extrude. And it that's the only thing I've drawn so far. So it defaults to that. My plans say this is 0 0.5. I type that into my little box on my window. I hit OK. I'm going to start a sketch on here again. So I'm going to start a sketch right there. It is a rectangle, so I click rectangle. And I'm going to make just a generic crappy rectangle right there. Then I'm going to go up to the top, and I'm going to hit dimension. I need to make it the right size. <coughs> Excuse me. And the size, if I'm looking at my top view, that's why I keep looking at my other monitor there. It says from center to this edge, that is going to be... 0.25 and it is like that it looks like all the way around so I'm going to keep doing that dimension 0.25 and then I'm going to do that uh, da, 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 to this side 0.25 and my last chunk measure that height 0.25 all right, a bunch of ways of getting that, but that's how I ended, needed to end up, right? All the way around. Then I'm going to extrude that center piece. How tall is it? I'm going to add up all of those 0.5s. So there's 3.5s, but then there's a little bit more. The whole thing, I'm going to slide this over real quick. This whole thing is 2.5 minus this half down here. So that's going to be just a 2 and then minus this quarter. So it's going to be 1.75 is this gap in the middle. I have to do some math, right? Two and a half minus half minus a quarter. That's going to give me 1.75. So that's how far up it's going to be, 1.75. Enter. Great. Now I'm going to start a sketch on the top of that rectangle. And that's going to be a circle. And it's actually a circle that just matches my bottom. So I'm going to start in the center. Oh, let me zoom in. And I can actually just go out until I'm hovering right over that edge, 1.25, and I can click. Then I can hit my finish sketch. Up in the top, I click, well, actually it already goes to 3D model. I'm going to click extrude. It knows what I'm extruding. And this one is 0 0.25 thick. Hit all right. Okay, look at that. I hit the little house button, and it zooms in real nice. Now I need to start putting those holes on there. And all of these holes, I need to put them in the right spot. So first thing I need to do is put a little coordinate point at all of those locations. So I'm going to start a sketch on this front face. I need to wiggle it down. Grab a mouse if you want a mouse, if you're one of my students. They're on top of the laptop cart. Over in the top, below for me, it's below where it says the word tools, there's a coordinate point. It's to the right of rectangle. I'm going to click coordinate point, and I'm going to, it kind of, you see that dotted line? So it might be hard to see, but there's a dotted line that forms. I'm going to be on that dotted line because I want these to be in the middle, and I'm going to put three of these coordinate points there. Two and three, making sure they're on those dotted lines. Now I'm going to dimension them. My plans say that from this bottom edge to this bottom dot should be 0.5. So I clicked on my bottom edge and that dot, or sorry, the top edge of that cylinder, but bottom of my rectangle, and that should be 0.5. Press enter, and it'll move it for you. And then it's from dot to dot, so I click each of those centers, still dimensioning. Each of these should be 0.5. And then I'm going to keep clicking those. 
And that one actually already looks really good, but I'm going to make sure I hit 0.5 anyway. Then let's say you didn't actually put it on that center line. I'm going to measure this distance here, and it should be 0.25. I'm just going to type that in just to confirm it, just to make sure in case anybody had any issues. If you're on that dotted line, you should be okay, but this is a little fail safe for us, 0.25. Then I'm going to finish that sketch. So now I've got those three coordinate points on there. Now up in the top, I'm going to click the button that says Hole. There's a lot of options in this pop-up window. Uh, it should already default to picking the right places. And you'll notice it says from sketch. And it already picked my centers for me because I only had those coordinate points. It's great. I need to change some of these things, though. I'm not termination. I'm not going a distance. I'm going through all. So I'm going to click that through all button. The diameter. For me, it actually is already correct. I want this to be a 0 0.25, but I'm going to type it in again just so you see that. And if it didn't pick all three of these, you might just have to click on those coordinate points. And then I'm going to hit OK. And I'm going to take a peek. Yep, they go all the way through. Great. And if I click my little house, and then I slide my little picture over, they should be identical. Great job. I'm going to then hit File and file where is it at there it is and save and i'm going to put this in for me my ied folder you don't have to care about this part uh this actually isn't 1.1 1 .1 point or 1.2.6 is actually 1.2.5 i misnamed the last one figure one that's what you're going to do if one of your my if you're one of my students i would also Add your name to it, and then press save. Alrighty, folks. Thank you for watching. Hopefully, this video was helpful. If it was, click that like button, and of course, subscribe to the channel. So you know it helps me get more subs. That's an important thing. You know, that's what all our YouTubers are all about. Have a great day, everybody, and as always, don't do drugs.